सेव किया था ना मैं सिर्फ इसलिए गया था क्योंकि उसने मुझे कॉल किया दैट्स इट बट लिसन तो सेव इट फॉर समवन एल्स जिंदगी में सेव करना जरूरी है मगर जब बात पैसों की हो सिर्फ सेविंग से काम नहीं चलेगा इक्विटी म्यूचुअल फंड्स में इन्वेस्ट कीजिए और अपने सेविंग्स को आगे बढ़ने का मौका दीजिए म्यूचुअल फंड इन्वेस्टमेंट्स आर सब्जेक्ट टू मार्केट रिस्क रीड ऑल स्कीम रिलेटेड डॉक्यूमेंट्स केयरफुली दिस इज दर्स्ट डे ऑफ टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर एंड यू कैन सी द न्यू साइकिल डॉप एंड सो वी डोंट रेस्ट वी आर हेयर एट योर सर्विस सो लेट मी लेट मी बिगिन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हाउ वेल्स कैन आई बिगिन एक्सेप्ट बाई विशिंग यू ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट फॉर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर इट्स गोइंग टू बी ए वेरी न्यूजी ईयर इफ यू जस्ट मेक अ काउंट एंड अप्रोक्सीमेट काउंट लिविंग आउट सम मार्जिनल केसेस Sixty five countries, that is India plus sixty four others, are going to have their elections this year. As the year goes along, we'll track some of these, and obviously we will track India's elections very very closely. And we can imagine that that's going to dominate. That's going to dominate cut the clutter also for the next few months, particularly beginning about February or so when the elections are announced. However, what we are talking about today. is not not about these countries which are going to the polls we are talking about a country something is happening in a country country that pretends to be or that claims to be a great democracy in fact in all the documentation formal documentation documentation that they issue they say that it is the west which tries to judge every other country in terms of their own definitions of democracy while their own democracy this country's democracy is the strongest of all the country of course is the one one which has which has broken its own constitutional principles set new principles to give its president almost an unlimited tenure in power instead of the usual two term limitation that's the reason now you know what i'm getting getting at that's the reason xi jinping now is in his third term which is more than anything anybody has got including mao deng xiaoping whoever so he is in power now and he's done things in china which have caught our attention and that's the reason it is featuring in the first episode of cut the clutter this year that is his so called anti corruption purge his anti corruption purge has been going on in fact he's been saying that his anti corruption movement is like a continuous revolution in fact he defines it as self revolution right we leave that aside we'll come back to we'll come back with some more things that he's saying but what is the reason this has caught our attention now because his so called anti corruption movement has been going on for quite some time literally lakhs and lakhs and lakhs of chinese officials mostly officials but other people have been punished for corruption in fact since 2017 and it's an estimate i take from a recent or the latest wall street journal story of which i'll share a link with you that estimates that since 2017 on an average every year every year half a million people have been charged or punished or censured for corruption in china half a million every year 5 lakhs every year so anti corruption activism or anti corruption activity is an ongoing thing with xi, with xi jinping what is it that has caught our attention right now what is caught our attention right now is the big move he has made on china's defense leadership military and defense leadership and also in the overall military and defense structure and system so first of all you would remember that last year two of china's most important cabinet ministers ministers for defense and foreign affairs so let me say foreign affairs and defense because that is the order in which they disappeared so both disappeared for some time first of all chen gang the foreign minister disappeared for quite some time and nobody knew what was happening then somebody took it uh, took his place a little bit and then uncertainty continued until they said that he's no longer the minister but we haven't seen or heard heard very much of him since then in his case among his various supposed indiscretions was the allegation that he had had an illicit affair with a famous television anchor and had also produced a child from her that is something that merited a full episode of cut the clutter of which i will share a link with you after that the chinese defense minister li shangfu now that became a familiar name in india because during the ladakh crisis our raksha mantri or defense minister rajnath singh had 
meetings with Li Shangfu. He had meetings with his Chinese counterpart who was Li, Li Shangfu. One of those meetings at a critical juncture took place in Moscow as well. So Li Shangfu similarly disappeared for some time and then didn't quite appear. But for a long time, his successor was also not named. So within months, the Chinese lost, lost to disappearance, unexplained disappearance, two members of what would be the equivalent of the Chinese Cabinet Committee on Security. Indian Cabinet Committee on Security has Prime Minister, Foreign Minister, Defense Minister, Home Minister, Finance Minister, right? So if two of them suddenly go disappear without a trace and nobody knows where they are and their replacements are not, not named for a long time, you know, you know what that will mean in China. However, however, it's a bit different because everything is run by the party. The defense minister in China in some ways is is a, is a ceremonial title because defense minister goes out and meets other defense ministers, makes makes uh, makes other diplomatic calls, etc. Whereas the big military and defense decisions are taken by the Central Military Commission or CMC of the Communist Party of China, which obviously Xi Jinping heads. That apart, Li Shangfu was removed. We know that Xi Jinping was removed and we know his replacement was Wang Yi, the former special envoy, etc. Special envoy, like the National Security Advisor, he became the foreign minister. That was some time back. Now the new defense minister has been named just last week. And the new defense minister is Admiral Dong Jun. You would say, why is it so important? Because you just said that the Chinese defense minister's position is relatively ceremonial. First of all, I said relatively ceremonial. I did not say ceremonial, ceremonial. So the the Defense minister in China is not like, like the president of an elected republic like India, parliamentary republic li like India. It's not ceremonial. It's not titular. There is still a role to play. And at that level, the person is also, the leader is also a member of the various party bodies, including the military commission. That said, the appointment of Admiral jo Don Jun is very significant for other reasons. And that other reason is that it's rare for a Navy officer to become Defense Minister of China. Dong Jun is not just any other Navy officer. He was the chief of Chinese PLA, PLA, PLA Navy, the Chinese Navy or PLA Navy as it's called, PLAN. So he was the chief of the chief of naval staff of the PLA Navy. He has become the chief that indicates two things. One, that China is making a maritime shift in its thinking, larger thinking. And second, this matches the boast that we've recently seen from Xi Jinping, who has said that the merger of Taiwan with China is an inevitability. It's going to happen. So that is where there is some, some significance to it. Nevertheless, that said, that is not our focus right now. Our focus right now is what is this big purge? Because it's not just the two ministers that we removed last year. Just over the last two weeks, news has come of another dozen removals. Now, some of these, not all these removals are like firings. In the Chinese system, if you are dropped from the party, if you are dropped from the party, you lose your party position, which means the party has disowned you, which is worse than firing. So a dozen other officials, nine of them, nine of them generals in the generals or that equivalent in the Chinese defense forces, nine of them and three other key executives in Chinese military defense rocket aviation, military military aviation complex, they've all been deprived of their party positions, which is worse, worse than being sacked. It's like being excommunicated from your political family. That's what, hap what has happened to them. So a dozen of them on top of this. That is why this has become so significant. And I will also explain to you in a while who these officials are, not so much the generals, but who these, who these Officials from who these officials from the defense industry are and how significant are the organizations they are working from. So I have a quote here for you from from Lyle Morris of Asia Society Policy Institute, ASPI. It's a tweet. So please see the tweet on your screens. It says something major must have happened to precipitate this kind of purge because purges in China go on from Mao, from Mao Zedong's era. But purges in China tend to be short, shar sharp. And, and they are done with quickly so people forget about them very soon. In this case, in Xi Jinping, it's fundamentally different, but because he seems to be in a permanent state of 
purge and i will give you a couple of quotes from him in just a couple of minutes so we understand his mind and where he's coming from now the other big difference between mao the mao era and xi jinping era is in mao's view while there was continuous revolution they were threats to the party or to communism from outside in xi jinping's view the threats all come from within so he must carry out purges purges from within so mao is the one who got people outside excited by saying there is threat to the revolution there is threat to threat, threat to the party from outside xi jinping sees all of these from inside now how sincere he is with, he is with doing this how sincere he is in the sense that how how deeply does he feel that this is the problem or is this this a ploy to strengthen his own position to strengthen his own position and also to ensure even more loyalty to himself so once again there is a line that i use and it's from it's from the same wall street journal story it says that maybe maybe it's a way of trying to enforce fealty through fear to himself and and his vision loyalty to himself and to, and to and to his vision through fear the wall street journal article by the way is by chun han bong and as i said i am sharing a link with you and it goes on to say that over the last years he's carried out purges not just in the military and the government structure but a lot of the industry in china is in public sector so a lot from there also but also from the private sector what he has done to his tech companies we have spoken about in the past what he's done to his tech companies his techsars jack ma etc we spoken about in the past also what he's done to his edutech and edutech entrepreneurs or what he has done to his property kings all of that we spoken about in the past but this says this story says that his purse now goes through finance food pharma healthcare semiconductors sports he's even even taken action against soccer administrators i wish we could hand over our wrestling federation to him that said that said the fundamental difference is that well, while mao may have thought mao may have thought that some people are corrupt or some people are against the revolution and, and action must be taken against them xi jinping seems to think that fundamentally there is a problem with individuals that there are individuals by and large have moral failings and that's why this fight must go on forever in a perpetual way so he said in his speech at the party congress where he was anointed president for an unprecedented third term and i quote battling corruption is the most thorough self revolution now you've heard about many revolutions from from, from in the, in the in the chinese discourse but self revolution to me is relatively new i might have heard this before but it's relatively new so self revolution and then he went on to say as long as the soil and the conditions are conducive for corruption and they continue to exist the fight against corruption can't cease for a moment now what he's done at the same time is that he's not carried out any reform in his governance whereby possibility of corruption goes down which means reducing discretionary powers which means simplifying bidding mechanisms because many of the people who've got caught in his action right now including the former defense minister seems to have got caught in the in the under the charge of bid rigging that is when people are bidding for projects or bidding for supplies you rig you rig the bids by by, by telling four guys you will bid below this or maybe telling your favorite guy what the what the highest bid so far is so that guy gets the bid he has not carried out any of those reform but self revolution is you know, as i told you something new i i'm not that familiar with it possibly i have read it i have heard it sounds like i've read it or i i have heard it but i'm not that familiar with it to me it looks like this call for a perpetual call for per call for self revolution is like the yoga teacher telling somebody that once every 3 days you must carry out a kunjal kriya so get everything that's filthy from inside you inside you outside that said let's figure out more of his thoughts again at the party congress in 2022 he said corruption is the biggest cancer that harms the vitality and underline this corruption is the biggest cancer and harms the vitality and combat effectiveness of the party combat effectiveness on the party the reason i said underline this is because a lot of this action is now taking place 
either against people in the defense forces at the very top or in the defense industry in the military industrial complex in China, which is quite formidable. So once again, I repeat, corruption is the biggest cancer that harms the vitality and combat effectiveness of the party. And anti-corruption is the most thorough self-revolution. That is what I told you just, just a minute back. Then what is he doing? He's saying that who do I have to clean? He's, he's not even sparing the party's own anti-corruption watchdog. The party's own anti-corruption watchdog is called Central Commission for Discipline Inspection, CCDI, Central Commission for Discipline Inspection. That commission, in fact, the commission itself has issued a statement. They say the struggle against corruption will never end, will never end. It will only be ongoing but never completed. So they've said this because he's also carried out purges within the watchdog. He said that he is, and I quote again from his speech, he's taking the knife deep inside to cut the rotting fish from within, to slice the rotting fish from within. On December 22, just about 10, day, 10 days back, he spoke again. That's around time these actions were taken against these military officials. And he said, and I quote, members of the Politburo of the Chinese Communist Party Central Committee should exert rigorous requirements on themselves according to standards of Marxist statesmen, setting an example in maintaining personal integrity and self-discipline for the whole party. And then he goes on to say they must, they must not follow blindly the foreign examples. It's around this time that punitive action was taken out, taken, taken out against these nine generals and these three defense technology officials. This comes on top of the firing of two top generals of Chinese rocket and strategic forces last year. So it looked like, it looked like Xi Jinping was restructuring his entire top military leadership. Now, this is very important in China because Chinese Communist Party, it's a party run country. Even the armed forces belong to the party. Armed forces don't belong to the nation. Armed forces belong to the party just as the nation belongs to the party. Now, there the party has tended to pick up a lot of the military people or military technology people for its leadership. So many of them, many of them also join the Politburo. Even if you look at the Politburo now, the 25 member Politburo, three of its members have been drawn from the military industrial complex. For example, Ma Xingrui, my apologies if I don't pronounce these names right. I will work at it going ahead. I will look at, I will check Google and practice a little bit, but I will right now do it on the best effort basis. So Ma Xingrui, X-I-N-G-R-U-I, who is a former space expert. He's now a member of Politburo and the party's boss in charge of Xinjiang. So, so he must be a very important and trusted person. Otherwise, he would not be put in charge of Xinjiang. Again, Yuan Jiajun, who is a former rocket scientist, he's the party job boss for Chongqing. That is another very important province. Third one, Zhang Guoqing is a former Norinco boss. And we'll tell you about Norinco in, Norinco in just a minute. Anytime you read about Chinese defense manufacturing, you will read the name Norinco. It's one of their foremost public public sector state-owned defense firms, military manufacturer firms. He's also at the Politburo now and, and, and is in charge of Tianjin. So this tells you how important officials from the defense technology and defense forces are for the Chinese Communist Party. That's why when people in these areas, people, key people serving in the, these areas are punished or, or they are sidelined, you know how, sig how significant this is. Now, before I tell you about the three latest ones to be sidelined, there is also the conviction and sentencing for 13 years of jail of a man called Hu Wenming. Hu Wenming was a former top party leader, top party person, but not just a former top party person, but he was also the chairman of China Shipbuilding Industries Corporation. China Shipbuilding Industries Corporation is a mega shipbuilding firm. It was under his watch, under Hu Wenming's watch, that the China built its first aircraft carrier, that's Liaoning, which was a rebuilt old original Soviet aircraft carrier, which had been rebuilt into a Chinese Navy, PLA Navy aircraft carrier. And then the construction of China's 
own aircraft carrier carrier Shandong. Both were done under his watch. Now he was first sidelined, then put under investigation. He had retired in 2019. Investigations against him were opened in 2021. He's now been convicted and sent to jail for 13 years. There is alongside him there is also a Norinko executive Yin Jiaqiu who's also been put under investigation that said look at the three who've now been sidelined and whose party positions have been taken away so first is Wu Yansheng Wu Yansheng was the chairman of China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation CASC second Liu Shichuan who was chairman of China North Industries Group Corporation that is called Norinko the big manufacturer and the third is Bang Chang King who's like deputy manager it says but sounds to me like deputy chairman or deputy managing director of China's Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation or CASIC now let's understand these three entities the first one CASC CASC is China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation CASC makes almost all of PLA's rockets and missiles so you can't get more important than that Norinco, which we mentioned more than once, that is the main maker of mechanized and digitized equipment for Chinese armed forces for the PLA. And CASIC, the last company that is China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation, CASIC is the only broadcasting communication satellite operator service provider in all of China. So the chiefs, the chiefs of the first two and a very senior official of the third one have now been put under a shade. That means that Xi Jinping is also worried that his military industrial complex is also under his siege and or is, in, or is compromised. And that's another reason he's acting on it. At the same time, this kind of crackdown and corruption in any society, in any country, will also be very popular with the larger body of people, the larger body of masses. And that's how the Chinese communist leaders have usually worked. They work by spreading fear about themselves. Others have used fear in terms of ideological purity, etc. In Xi Jinping's case, it's all about corruption.